If you don't get up, I'll spit! What? 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 Ban the lifeboats! Ban the bomb! The dam's burst! Is Midnighty on fire? Vote Conservative! Keep off the grass! What? 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 Don't get confused, my lovely. Oh, it's you. Oh, I might have known. I'll nail your doors together one of these days if you're not careful. No. Oh, you're so hearty. Oh, I've just remembered. That was a very funny thing that happened last night. I must ask Zebedee about it. Stop muttering and get up! Uncouth creature. What I have to put up with. Oh, mm. Mm. oh now, Dougal. Dougal, don't get sloppy. Just have a cup of tea. Oh, very funny about last night. Mm. <laughs> Oh, nectar. That was very funny last night. Very funny. Are you up yet? I'll be up there in a minute. Oh, oh I hate a noisy clock. Dougal met the train. Ah, ah, what a lucky chance. Uh, could you by any chance give me a lift? That depends. Depends? What on? You're a public service vehicle, aren't you? Well, that may be, but it doesn't mean air can be taken advantage of. Oh, all right. Don't get all steamed up. <laughs> <laughs> This could lead anywhere. It'd be quicker to walk, but she gets very upset. speaking. In four days, we will be landing at Watford Junction. <laughs> or Madrid. Or Berlin. Or Peking. Or Bournemouth. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh. Oh, I'm so talented. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Get off the line. I can't stop. Clear the track. What? 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 Take care, you steam-driven fool, you. What do you think you're doing? You've got me on board. <laughs> oh, get off the track! Get off the track! Oh, I hate this. I hate... Mm. 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 Hello, darling. Madam, you've stopped my train. Oh, oh, have I, dear boy? Yes, you have. Oh, oh, I create such chaos. <laughs> chaos! You can say that again. 
It's just that I love watching trains. All cows do. It's a well-known fact. So, if you're in a train and you see some cows in a field, give them a wave. They do so appreciate it. <laughs> Goodbye, dear hearts. Oh, my, she does go on, that one. Oh, what a way to run a railway. They met Brian, who was showing a pretty turn of speed. I'm beaten by a snail. I'll never be able to show me face in crew again. Snail? Yes. Snail? Yes. Come yes, yes, here yes, at yes, once. Yes. Yes. Now, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, old matey. Just out for a stroll, that's all. Goodbye. <laughs> Come out. Yes? Listen, you've upset my transport and I'm in a hurry. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, old chum. I'm very sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Cross me heart. Yeah, funny the things which upset the railways these days. They met Dylan. Hello, rabbit. Hard at it, I see. <laughs> Man, you're right. I'm watching these crazy mushrooms grow. Like it's a... Uh, it's very tiring. <sighs> like, uh, like exhausting. You know, he's doing the rabbit image no good at all. Good morning. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Uh, I, I, I don't wish to appear churlish, Mr. McHenry, but I am in rather a hurry. Ah, well, don't let me detrain you then. I've got things to do. Flowers to grow, spuds to pull, and lots of things horticultural to attend to. Yes, indeed, and Bigora. Yes, indeed, and Bigora. <laughs> He's off his head. I always thought all that mulching was dangerous. <laughs> What now? Oh, my. Uh, got your sleepers in a twist, have you? Cheeky thing. Look over there. Interrupt, please. Oh, he's joli. Perhaps you girls would care to come for a ride. I'm going to Middlesbrough. <laughs> oh, you're also joli here. <laughs> What a charming lot. French, you know. Yes, they looked absolutely delicious. Uh, <clears throat> I've got uh, something to ask you. Ask away. Ask away. Any little problems you've got, you can always bring them to me. You know what I'm like. Always ready to help. Me and my magic moustache. <laughs> Just ask. Go on, ask. Just ask. Ask away. Any little problems and I'll do my best to solve them. Don't worry about troubling me. Just ask. Well, I'm very glad we've established that, because there is a little problem I'd like to discuss. Now, are you listening? Well, it's about last night. Yes, last night? Well, I was asleep last night when something happened. You see, I'd gone to bed early with a cup of cocoa and a bicky, because I'd had rather a tiring day, what with one thing and another. You know how it is. And I was fast asleep and dreaming a lovely dream about getting me knighthood at the palace. <laughs> it's a dream I often have. I don't know why. When suddenly I woke up, I was wide awake. Why? 
Was my hot water bottle leaking? No. So, what was I doing awake when I should have been asleep and dreaming? If you see what I mean. What had woken me up? Now, I don't often get confused, but this was very confusing. I got out of bed and wandered about. Now, this is also very unusual, because if there's one thing I don't do, it's wander about in the middle of the night. Well, you never know what you're going to meet, do you? Especially around here. Well, the next thing that happened was a noise. <coughs> Terrifying. Awful. Out of this world. Look, I'm not easily frightened, but this. Caw! Hello, Cheeky. Well, then I thought, perhaps I'm dreaming, because who ever heard of an owl speaking? <laughs> but then, then I heard something else, a voice. I wish to serve the blue voice. I wish to be the blue king. I wish to be all powerful. And then I heard another voice. Blue is beautiful. Blue is best. I'm blue. I'm beautiful. I'm best. Well, the voices were coming from that old factory on the hill. You know, the one where they used to make treacle. It's been empty for years, but now it had lights on. Well, being, as you know, a brave spirit, I thought I'd get a better look at it all. So, moving backwards to confuse anyone with evil intents into thinking I was going forwards, <laughs> I got myself, with some cunning, into a position of vantage. What did I see, you will ask? Not very much, I answer. The old factory was there on top of the hill, but everything seemed craggy and very sinister and very blue. And then I heard the voice again. Blue is beautiful. Blue is best. I'm blue. I'm beautiful. I'm best. Well, all this talk about blue is very funny. But I've, I've never been very fond of blue myself. Not with my colouring. <laughs> so I wandered back to my little bed and I put myself back to sleep. And if you can make anything of that, you're very welcome to try. And the best of luck. Zebedee asked Dougal if he was sure he hadn't been dreaming. What? Of course I'm sure. I don't imagine voices in the middle of the night. Well, not often. Well, all I can say is... Yes, yes that I haven't the slightest idea what it all means. Oh. And I suggest you ask Florence. She may be able to help. She's a very sensible girl, you know. Uh, Zebedee, uh, you don't think I ought to see a psychiatrist, do you? Don't be silly, Dougal. You, you, you don't think I'm going dotty, do you? He didn't answer. He didn't answer. Oh. Oh, I'll go and see Florence. She's painfully well-adjusted. <sighs> Florence was at home and singing a song which went something like this. Florence, it's a lovely morning. Florence, shall you work this morning? Florence, if you don't this morning, you will never do it, dear. Florence, you would rather wander. Florence, it's a living wonder that your house is not now under. A great big cloud of dust, dust, dust. Clean it up, you must, must, must. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Not that you should care at all. Being fair's not worth a jot. Be content with what you've got. What you've got is quite a lot. 
Florence, it's a lovely morning. Florence, shall you work this morning? Florence, if you don't this morning, you will never do it, dear. Florence, will you come back here? There's none so deaf as will not hear. Now she's gone for good, I fear. Florence met Mr. Rusty and the others. Hello, how are you? They all said. We're glad you've come, they all said, because we've got a surprise, they all said. Oh, I love surprises more than anything. What is it? Look on the roundabout, said Mr. Rusty, and you'll see. So Florence looked on the roundabout. She looked again. She got a bit closer, and she saw a cat. Oh, how beautiful. Yes. First blue cat I've ever seen. <coughs> Call me Buxton. Oh, it speaks. I thought perhaps it was stuffed. Buxton. Hooray! 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 Very good! Very good! Splendid! Zebedee arrived to see what was happening. We've got a visitor, a blue cat, a beautiful blue cat called Buxton. Never seen one before. Oh, oh really? Uh, uh, look, uh, Dougal's got a bit of a problem he wants to talk to you about. A problem? Well, the, yeah, yes, that's what he told me, a uh, problem. But no one really wanted to know about Dougal and his problems. They had a blue cat and they couldn't think of anything else. It's not a day for problems, it's a day for celebration and delight. <laughs> oh, this lot's going to be a pushover. <laughs> hey, Pushover. I'd better have a word with Dougal, I suppose, said Florence. Constant spray strikes again. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll leave these here for Florence and give them to her later. Now, I wonder where she is. Florence heard Dougal coming and told the blue cat to hide. You're a surprise, she said. Hello, Dougal. Oh, you seem revoltingly bright. How are you? Well, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Funny you should say that, Dougal. Oh, oh, bliss, bliss. Oh, do it again. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, I've got something for you. Wait there. Won't be long. Hello. Got a right one here. Uh, just a little something. I picked them myself. Sweets to the sweet, you might say. <laughs> what a lovely turn of phrase. Oh, Dougal, they're lovely. Thank you very much. I'll put them in water later. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, you weren't foolish enough to bring me anything, were you? Like a lump of sugar, perhaps, or two lumps? Look behind you, Dougal. Ah! Isn't he lovely? What is it? What is it? Well, can't you see, Dougal? It's a cat, a beautiful blue cat called Buxton. 
Buxton? <laughs> yes, he's come to visit. Buxton? Aye, that's the name, lad. Buxton. Uh, 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 please to, uh, <clears throat> how are you? Very well, Tar. Good. Thank you. You've got a very lovely place here. I'm very, very taken with it. Yes, it's very, very lovely. Grand. Yes, well, we like it, don't we, Dougal? And, uh, we're glad you like it too, aren't we, Dougal? Oh, ecstatic. We're overcome with delight. Absolutely overcome. In that case, I take it there'd be no objection to my staying. Indefinitely. Indefinitely? Oh, ah, oh, 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 no, oh, no I, I don't think you'd like it that much. <laughs> it uh, rains a lot, doesn't it? And uh, you'd get wet, and I'm sure you'd hate that. <laughs> uh, there's a train at three. Goodbye. Don't take any notice of Dougal. No, I won't. You know, it's uh, very kind of you to ask me to stay. Not at all. Mm. Oh, dear. <laughs> a cat of all things, and blue. Oh, dear. I find it funny you haven't remarked on my colour. I'm blue, you know. Blue. Oh, yes, 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 you are. Yes, you are blue, aren't you? The only blue cat in the world, said Florence. Yes, well, there aren't many yellow dogs called Dougal, but I suppose that doesn't matter anymore. Fickle Jade. The news of the arrival of the blue cat had spread round the magic garden, and everyone arrived to have a look and to say hello. Dylan, Ermintrude, and Brian. Oh, yes, you are blue, aren't you? Very blue. And what might this lad's name be? Oh, 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 that's Brian. Oh, that's a funny name for a snail, isn't it? Oh, look who's talking. Blue Buxton. Oh, blue is beautiful. Oh, that reminds me, said Dougal. I heard some very funny voices coming from the old factory last night. From the old factory? they all said. But it's closed. Factory? Did you say factory? What do you know about the factory, eh? Eh? What's all this about the factory, eh? Eh? Factory? Factory? Well, don't go on. I just heard voices in the old treacle factory. That's all. But no one was very interested in Dougal and his voices. But they were interested to know where Buxton was going to stay. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll find a little niche somewhere. Everyone seemed to think that the most perfect niche would be Dougal's house. It wasn't very far away, and as Brian said, Dougal had plenty of room and a great big bed. Now, wait a moment. Wait a jolly moment, you lot. Thanks very much. It's very kind of you to offer. I accept. Which way is it? <laughs> I didn't offer. I didn't offer. He can't stay in my bed. Where will I sleep? What will people say? What? Have a good rest, said Florence. I'll try, said Buxton. Nearly there. Oh, you'll love it here. It's very elegant and chic. Please be quiet. I'm trying to get some sleep. Ignoring this, Dylan started to play a little welcoming lullaby for Buxton, while Ermintrude and Brian made up the bed. Give the same lift, have the same gift, 
as getting into a big soft bed. Oh, oh, that looks very comfy. Ta. I shall sleep like a baby. Don't bother to wait. Forgive me, man, if I just say that I would rather it me than you in the hay. Thank you and good night. Well, that's got him safely tucked up. Oh, doesn't he look sweet and so blue? Oh, we're very lucky to have such a distinguished visitor. Oh, oh my, yes. Come along then, darlings. <coughs> Meanwhile, Florence was picking some blue flowers and wondering where the blue cat had come from. Suddenly, the color blue seemed to be very important to her. And she wondered about that, too. Why was it, she thought, blue? Why blue? Dougal was wondering about the colour blue, too. Blue cats, indeed. <laughs> it's against nature. It'll be blue snails next. And then where will we be? <laughs> blue snails. <laughs> Help! hear a noise? No. All's well. Now for the factory and my master plan. Sleep on, little rabbit. Now's the time for me to take over this place and everyone in it. <laughs> oh, I'm so wicked. Soon I'll be king of this garden, if I can only pass the test. <laughs> Oh, oh, the positions I find myself in. Who put this thing here? Really? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Someone's coming. Oh, that cat. Oh, he mustn't see me. I'll never live it down. No one about. Good. No one must see me, especially that nosy dog, Dougal. He might get suspicious. I'm suspicious already. Oh, 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 good. He can't see me. Now, what's he doing, the blue rotter? Open up! Open up! I've arrived to claim my rights! Who are you? Oh, oh, the blue voice. Who are you? The cat. Buxton. Ah, the cat. The blue cat? The same. At your service, madam ready to claim my rightful kingdom, ready to serve the blue cause, ready to carry the blue flag, ready to be true blue, ready to wipe out all of the colors, like heliotrope. Yes, well, that's quite enough, Buxton, dear. There'll be time for drama later. Now, are you ready for the test? Ready, madam? Well, remember, if you fail, <laughs> Enter, blue cat, and claim your kingdom, if you can. Remember, there are seven doors before you get the crown. And remember, there is no going back. For instance, look behind you. Hey, who? A little warning, Buxton. Now, what is the colour of the first door? Uh, uh, blue? Well done, Buxton. You have your first title. You are now a knight. Come in, Sir Buxton. Now, what do you think I'm doing here? Oh, madam, you are clever. 
You're making flowers. Blue flowers. Correct, Sir Buxton. We are making blue flowers. Soon the world will forget the primrose. Flowers are blue. All others must go. Blue is beautiful. Blue is best. I'm blue. I'm beautiful. I'm best. What is the color of the second door? Uh, cobalt blue. Am I right? Right again, Baron Buxton. Hey, what's this? This, Baron Buxton, is where we dye the clothes of the world. Blue is the only color to be worn. Down with shades of red and green. Down with the colors of the day. Deadly nightshade is our game. Down with fun clothes, horrid things. Down with shades of pink and grey. Down with everything but blue. Down with Debenham and free bodies. The third door! Uh, 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 the, 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 the door to the room of dreams? But what colour? Uh, Saxony blue. Right. Lord Buxton. How are you feeling, little Buxton? How <laughs> shall luck, Buxton, Buxton, Buxton? Enjoying yourself, Buxton? <laughs> Frightened, Buxton? Frightened? <laughs> Where's the door? The color? Indigo. Go through, Marquis Buxton. This is the room of the world. The blue of the oceans. The blue of the skies. The sun never rises on the color blue. Even the stars will be blue. Even the stars. the color of the fifth door. Oh, oh, eh, eh, oh, I, I've forgotten. <laughs> nay, 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 I'll remember, I'll remember. Remember quickly, Marcus Buxton. Remember quickly, or pay the price of the blues in the night. Remember! <laughs> I've remembered. Baby blue. Well remembered, Duke Buxton. The room of thunder and lightning. The room of anger and rage. Right, Duke Buxton. And the next door? Prussian blue. Am I right? Well done, Prince. Buxton. The guard room, I presume. Correct, Prince. This is the room where your army is made. The army that will enable you to take over the garden and everything in it. With these soldiers, you will be invincible. Nothing will be able to stand in your way. Nothing. You will be all-powerful, all-knowing. For always. You will be king, king, king! Now, show me how the cat jumps. <laughs> <laughs> the last door, the door of the blue king, royal blue! Success, King Buxton! <laughs> Done it. I've done it. King Buxton the first. <laughs> <laughs> I am king.
king of everything that I survey. I am king and no one here can say me nay. I am king, the bluest king in all the world, all the world, even Wagner and crew. I am king and everyone had best watch out. I am king and liable to throw a clout at anyone who gets across my path, across my path, even armies and you. I am king, and everything I do is bad. I am king, the wickedest you've ever had. I am king, and anything that doesn't please gets the chop or gets thrown in the stew. <laughs> He's the king, the wickedest one we've ever had. He's the king, the bluest one we've ever had. He's the king, the fattest one we've ever had. He's the king, he's the king, he's the I got the job, I'm the king, I've every right to thump and rob, I'm the king, and everything that's red or green will be dyed, even pansies and rue. I'm the king, it's tiring but rewarding work, I'm the king, my duties I will never shirk, I'm the king, my reign of terror's just begun, so watch out if you're not painted blue. <laughs> You lot, this is the first command of your king. That is me, King Buxton. Everything not blue, unless it belongs to me, will be destroyed. Everyone not blue will be taken prisoner and chucked in the dungeons. Taken prisoner, we obey. Totally destroyed, we obey. Taken prisoner, we obey. Totally destroyed, we obey. We go, we go, we go, the pump is a burn. We go, we go, we go, we give people a turn. Our king is the best. We go, we go, we go. Good lads, total war on colour. Let battle commence. We go, 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 we go. Well, go on, then! Go! Meanwhile, back at Dougal's place, Brian and Florence wondered where the blue cat had got to. He wasn't in Dougal's bed. Dylan, the guardian, was still asleep, and Dougal himself was nowhere to be seen. Well, it's all a bit of a mystery, said Brian. Do you think they've gone off somewhere together? I don't think that's very likely, Brian, but you go and see if you can find Dougal, all right? Yeah, all right. And I'll see if I can find Buxton. I don't suppose they've gone very far. Goodbye. <laughs> well, that dog always goes too far. Ermintrude was painting. Oh, how beautiful. What a lovely example of my blue period. Hello, dear creature. Oh, it's a bit blue, isn't it? What is it? It's abstract. I'm in the mood for blue. 
Hey, you never told me you could paint. Well, you never asked me, dear thing, did you? The muse came upon me like it does, and I felt blue. I'm painting these for dear Buxton. Well, dear Buxton's disappeared. Gone without trace. Disappeared without trace? Just when he'd come into my life. <laughs> I must lose myself in my art. Oh, dear. It must be way past tea time. Oh, someone's coming. Help! Help! Do I hear sounds of distress? Help! I'm up here! I'm sure I heard a voice. Look up, you great clump! Sounds like my lovely shaggy chum. But I'm sure he wouldn't call me a great clump. No, he wouldn't. Not him. <laughs> oh, dear. It would have to be him, great oaf. Oh, someone left a rope across the path. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Don't do that! <laughs> Did I hear a noise of falling? No, couldn't have. Yeah, yeah, got a mouthful of rope. And now, I wonder where old Shaggy Breeks has got to. <laughs> if I stay, I'll do that snail an injury. Really, I'm lumbered. And that cat, he's up to no good in the old factory, and they're all dotty about him. Great fools! Blind fools! Dougal, whatever's the matter? Like, uh, what's wrong, man? I wish I knew. Trouble, dear hearts? Well, Dougal seems upset about something. I have every reason to be upset. That cat's up to no good. Oh, oh I've been looking for you, old matey. I thought I heard you calling just now. You sounded to be in distress, but I expect I imagined it. <laughs> What's up with him? We don't know. Friends, Romans. Huntryman. I beg your pardon, Dougal. We have a traitor in our midst. It's that blue cat. I saw him go into the old factory, and I know in my bones he's hatching some fiendish plot against our beloved garden. Now, I don't know what it is, but we have got to be very careful. All of us. NATO must be alerted. The United Nations must be told. The Security Council must be roused. I might even write to the Times, if I can find a stamp. He's dotty. Yeah, well, it'll have to happen, man. Don't just stand there! Unite! Pull yourself together! We must man the barricades! We must even dog the barricades! We must prepare for war! Well, I'm prepared, dear heart. I've been prepared for years. I was in the land army. Yes, well, I'm sure your experience will be invaluable, madam, but be that as it may. We must prepare to defend our garden. We must be on our guard. Has anyone got an anti-cat fence? We have a traitor in our midst. We have a dog in our hmm. manger. I shall have to act quickly. That dog suspects something. I shall need to cunningly reassure them and make him feel small. In our china shop. Great, great speech, man. Great, great speech. Great. Hello. H. Something wrong? No. Having trouble? No, no. Yes, we are having trouble with the blues, especially blue cats. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Once more, my colour has been rejected. I thought here I would be happy amongst my new friends. Oh, whoa, whoa. Very moving. Yeah, sure is, man. Yes, he'd do well at the old Vic, that one. Oh, hush, Dougal. And they all assured the blue cat that they did trust him and they wanted him to stay. I've even done some paintings for you, dear blue thing, which I'd like you to come and see. I've done them in my new blue style. Oh, I'm touched. I'm overcome with touch. Thank you. Don't be deceived. Don't be taken in. That cat is a menace. That cat is dangerous. That cat 
is a cat. Oh, Dougal, you are dreadful. No oh, blind fools. Oh, great. May I have a word with you, cat? Later, dog. Like uh, a dramatic moment, man. Oh, oh, he's a great one for drama, is Dougal. <coughs> Mr. McHenry and Mr. Rusty arrive, rather disturbed about something. Strange things were happening, they said. Uh, what sort of things, friend? Oh, it's difficult to explain. There's been a rash of blue cactus scissors. See? See? Trouble. Great prickly things they are, and blue. <coughs> oh! There's another. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like that at all. Oh, I have. Yeah. <laughs> it's the fast-growing variety. What a beauty. Help! 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 They heard Zebedee calling. Something dreadful had happened. He'd lost his magic moustache. Someone had stolen it from beside his bed. Without it, he had no magic. He was powerless. It was a tragedy. Oh, what a tragedy. How very unfortunate for your friend. Stop chattering. Help me find it, please. Yes, we must all help find it. It's going to be tears before bedtime, I know. Oh, I'm so evil. <laughs> now that I've got his moustache, nothing can stand in my way. I must launch my attack. <laughs> oh dear, without his moustache, he's useless. And I've got a feeling we're going to need him. Oh dear. Moustache? Moustache? Where are you, little creature? Come on. Come out. Mm. The hour has come. Open for the king! Crown? Thanks very much. Time to attack, time to attack, time to attack, time to attack. Good lads. Time to attack? Shut up. Bad dreams, nightmares. Time to attack. Get ready. Carry on. Thunder and lightning. Storms and tempest. Time to attack. Carry on! The time is right. Everything is ready. Time to attack. Carry on! We go, we go, we go. 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 Please, shut up. All right, you horrible lot. You know what to do. Everyone is to be taken prisoner. No one must escape. Oh, heaven help the lot of you. Carry on! We go, we go, we go, to the fun village of Burn. We go, we go, we go, we give people a turn. Our king is the best. We go, we go, we go. We go, we go, we go, let now challenge our might. We go, we go, we go, to turn day to night. Our king is the cat. We go, we go, we go. Oh, Periscope. Let me look. By the right, wait for it. By the right, attack. Oh, what's your this? What you got there, then? Oh, 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 oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, oh, 
I'll give you such a piece of my mind in a moment. Oh, really? I've never been so insulted in all my life. <laughs> help! Help! Zebedee! Peace, man. Uh, peace. You'll be lucky. <laughs> Triumphs! All captured. The dreaded cactus everywhere. I triumph. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a more. Where's that dog? Curses and black pudding. They haven't got that dog. I'll have their guts for garters, you see if I don't. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, is that your moustache? Yes, it certainly is. So go away. Oh. Uh, why aren't you with the others? They're all captured, you know. Captured? Yeah, he's captured. They were all carried off by some dashed soldiery. They were shouting and screaming dreadfully. Not at all British. In fact, I found the whole thing distinctly unfresh. Where did they go? Did you see? Yes, they uh, took them to that old factory on the hill. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Funny the people we meet nowadays. Wouldn't have done when I was in the guards. We'd have shown them by Jingo. He's captured and taken to the old factory? Are you sure? Do you mind? There's some funny things happening around here, too. My lettuces have all turned blue. <gasps> oh, the fiend. He wants to make everyone sick with blue salad. Oh, the fiend, the fiend. The factory, you say? I shall go and rescue them. Yes, well. Best of luck, old chap. I'd let you have a lettuce, but property is sacred. Funny chap. Needs a good haircut by George. Everywhere was devastation. Dougal didn't know what to do. He was determined to rescue everyone, but how? He was alone. All alone. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, I'm so easy. All my plans are working out. Soon I will be master of the whole garden, and then you'd all better watch out. How are you all, by the way? Not too comfortable, I trust. Perhaps you're missing your little shaggy friend, Dougal. Well, I'll get him soon. Don't you fret. Well, tell us it's a game, Buxton. Oh, if only I had my moustache. <laughs> Your moustache! <laughs> Pardon my mirth, but you'll never see that again. I've got it. You're a rotter! Uh, uh, what, what are you going to do with us now? Uh, look, uh, could, could I trouble you men to line up, rattle your chains too much? I'd like to have a little sleep here. <sighs> Make the most of it, my little rabbit. Make the most of it. You'll never get out of this place. <coughs> the stalactites and the stalagmites will keep you here forever! Forever! And to think I wasted my artistic talent on him. <laughs> I don't cry, don't cry. Dougal will rescue us, you'll see. Dougal? <laughs> oh, 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 pardon again, my evil mirth. But that dog couldn't get in here in a million years. For one thing, he's yellow. Yuck. You have to be blue to get in here, and that means me, the greatest. Me, King Buxton the First. Me, me. Don't forget me, cat. Oh, no, madam. No, madam. No, certainly not, madam. Good. I wouldn't like you to get ideas about your station until you completed everything I require to be done. Or your servant, madam. I hope so. But not for long, madam. You'll go the same way as the others, madam, when I am master, madam. Right. If you've got to be blue to get in, I'll be blue. 
Hmm. <laughs> looks quite nice. Mmm, that looks a bit prickly. Now, what do we have to do to get in here? Uh, uh, open sesame? No, no, not very likely, I suppose. Oh, oh, there must be some way in. Ah! Oh, 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 I just dropped in. I hope I'm not intruding. Is this the uh, co-op? Surround him! As you were. And who are you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, uh, Peter. Uh, <laughs> Blue Peter. <laughs> but you can call me uh, Bluey. Zebedee's <laughs> uh, moustache. <clears throat> uh, a lovely day. Why have you come? Well, you're famous, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you could put it like that. Stand back. He's a friend. So I said to myself, I must go and see the famous blue king and pay my respects. It's the least you can do, do uh, <coughs> uh, Peter. <laughs> I said, pay your respects. So I'm uh, paying them. You remind me of someone. Oh, I know. Isn't it a bore? I've often been told I look like that splendid, uh, <coughs> I mean, stupid dog, Dougal, who lives around here somewhere. It's really most trying. After all, we're entirely different. I'm blue, and he's always eating sugar, foolish animal, and I can't abide sugar. <laughs> Is that a fact? Guards, surround him. Hey, what, 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 what? Stop, I'm your friend. Take him to the torture chamber. Uh, no, no, Your Majesty, no, I, no I, I'm not very fond of torture. If he is, Dougal, he won't be able to resist the torture. <laughs> oh, I'm so evil. Dougal found himself in a strange room, full of sugar. And he realized this was the fiendish torture arranged by the blue cat. If he ate any of the sugar, the cat would know he was Dougal, and all would be lost. If he didn't eat any, the cat would believe he was Blue Peter, the blue dog. What a fiend. But what was he to do? The sugar was very tempting, even granulated. Oh, oh, it's too much. What am I going to do? I don't think I can stand it. <laughs> oh, I'd make a rotten spy. To eat or not to eat, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the stomach to suffer. Oh, shut up, Dougal. If you eat one lump, you're lost. You must get out of here now and fast. Go on, run, run. Oh, locked, locked in a room with 14 tons of sugar. Surely I could have one lump? No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh. 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 The torture. Oh, come on, pull yourself together, Dougal. Be a dog. Remember your British. Remember your friends. Rescue them first and eat the sugar later. Hey! Hey! Your Majesty! Your Majesty, why have I been put in this room with all this love, <coughs> revolting sugar? Let me out, I feel quite sick. Quite sick! Interesting. He didn't eat any, so he can't be Dougal. Come out, my dear friend. You've passed the test safely. You realize I had to be absolutely sure. I can't take any chances in my position. Who say no more about it, Your Majesty? In your position, you can't be too careful. <laughs> mm, the rotter. Come in, dear friend, come in. Don't stand on ceremony. Just bow low. Thank you. I want everyone to know that this is my Prime Minister, Blue Peter. Looking for something? PM? Oh, d just making sure there are no spies about. You can't be too careful. <laughs> Which way are the dungeons? 
I'll show you. They're very interesting. Oh, no, no, don't you bother. I'm sure you must be very busy. Well, uh, that's true. I have many things to do, being king. Long live the king! Long live the prime minister! Well, let's hope so. In the dungeons, Florence sang a sad song. Something like this. This game is not a good game. I can't believe it's happening. It must be all a dream. This game is not like my game. I'm in the dark and frightened. I'm in the dark and lonely. It must be all a dream. Shall we ever see the sun again? Shall we ever feel the rain again? Shall we ever play our games again? Or will the games we play end here? Where are you? I'm sorry, Dougal. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. But I thought everything was all right. Like it usually is. It's all my fault. Somehow I know it's my fault. I should have trusted no one. My trusting spoiled the game. Next time I'll be more careful. Next time I'll look behind me. Next time I won't be foolish. Next time will be all right. Shall we ever see the sun again? Shall we ever feel the rain again? Shall we ever play our games again? Or will the games we play end here? Or will the games we play end here? I'm sorry, Mr. Rusty, but I do feel rather sad. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be all right. And I'm not often wrong about these things. I'll try. But it does seem a bit hopeless, doesn't it? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Anybody there? It's me. You know, me. Where are you? You soppy lot. Dougal, is that really you? Of course it's me. But don't call me Dougal. I may have been followed. Call me Peter, or just be quiet. Are you there, Prime Minister? Dear? Oh, oh here, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, uh, just having a look round. <laughs> the others realised Dougal had a plan. Met my prisoners, have you? Oh, yes, what a pathetic lot. <laughs> Your sucks, boo! And the same to you, blue bag. <laughs> blue bag. Blue bag. Stinky poo. Blue bag. Don't you dare mock my prime minister. Prime minister, don't make me laugh. Silence, little springing fool. We are blue. <laughs> my friend and I are blue. Ooh, ooh. We're blue, 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 we're blue. My friend and I, my friend and I, to one another, true. We're true, we're true, we're true. We have a yearning to be evil. We may be bad, we may be bad, but most of all, we're evil. He speaks the truth, the lovely lad, but I am worse than he is. Yes, he is worse, it's true, he's worse, he makes me look quite good. 
Minister Blue Peter. Good. You will need all the help you can get to further the next stage of my plan in the conquest of the universe. Listen, and listen carefully. You are going to the moon. You have volunteered, haven't you? I think we've volunteered, Your Majesty. I want the moon for my blue kingdom. Blue moon, you are the one. Bon voyage. To the moon, prepare. Oh, I wish I knew where that dog Dougal was. Oh, I was all set to rescue them. Now Madam sends me to the moon. Mm, the things I do. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Anybody about? Ah, well. <clears throat> One small step for a dog, but a great step for dog kind. <laughs> what a lovely turn of phrase. I must remember to write it down when I get back. If I get back. I claim this moon for me. King Boxton, the first. Oh, what a place. Worse than Barnsley. It's lack of water that does it. Lack of water? Oh, suddenly I feel quite... Oh, there's no lack of water down here. Get me out. Oh, a major discovery. Hang on, Prime Minister. Oh, 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 I thought you said there wasn't any water. Oh, I'll catch my death. Uh, I, I chew. Bless you. Eh, uh, you're not blue. <laughs> What are you talking about, Your Majesty, sir? Dougal. Oh, no, no, I'm Peter. Blue Peter, remember? Peter, your chum. Peter. Come back here. <laughs> oh, the water's washed me die off. What shall I do? What shall I do? <laughs> No! No! 
don't feel no. Ah! Worried, were you? Oh, 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 I feel really poorly. Cat, back already. Oh, my Prime Minister is Dougal, the dog. So you failed. You know the penalty for failure. Oh, please let me explain. No, I will not let you explain. You are no longer king. You are nothing. Out of my sight before I lose my temper. And when I lose my temper, there's trouble, 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 trouble. Now, where are they? Where are they? Dougal! Dougal! Come on! Hurry up! Hurry up, you lot! Come on, quick, quick! Quick! Run! Run! Come on! Get out! Get out! Well, fun while it lasted. <laughs> hey, you're looking a little pale. Oh, Dougal, thank you very much. Oh, bliss, bliss. Oh, look. It's Buxton. Oh, he's crying. Yes, he's got something to cry about, the rotter. Oh, no, Dougal, no. It's very sad. <laughs> How could you ever forgive me? <laughs> I've been a beast. Yeah. Yes, you have been a bit of a beast. But we forgive you. <laughs> You're all too good to me. Too good. Oh, where's Brian? He's not here. I can't see him anywhere. Yes, where is he, Dougal? Oh, oh, I remember. He went back into the factory. Oh, Dougal, he didn't. He didn't. He said he wanted to fetch something. I expect it was his lettuce. Oh, poor Brian. Poor Brian. My best friend. We had our ups and downs, but... <laughs> he used to help me in the garden. I can't stand it. He was so... jolly. What will we do without him? Oh, see what you've done, cat. Oh, yes, yes, it's all my fault, all my fault. I'm evil, I know. You should blush for shame. Oh, yes, yes. <gasps> Forgive me, eat. I was the victim of a false doctrine. I am now changed. May I be your friend? Your true friend? Oh, that's so moving. Oh, oh, I'm quite overcome. Hey, hey, we must forgive him, you lot. Snail, where have you been? You had us all very, very worried. Have you missed me? It's just that I realise we've forgotten something, so I took my little self back to get it. And here it is. <laughs> Zebedee was beside himself with joy. His magic was back again. Uh, 
Right, who's for a cup of tea? Tea can wait. Look what's over here. Look what's over here. And it's not blue. In fact, I think it might be very white very soon. I think you've overdone it, but uh, all aboard. <laughs> oh, I love snow. <laughs> I'll bet she feels a bit blue. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll bet she does. What? What? <laughs> So they all got onto the roundabout and they sang a song which went something like this. Now the colour game is done Now we know it wasn't true Now the colours all have won Now we're anything but blue No adventure should be in May we all meet together again. How can it matter where you live? Live where you like. They're always there. Magic thoughts can always give. Magic gardens everywhere.